Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, um, well, I was just organizing my makeup because I just cleaned out a big desk that I have in my home office type thing. And I'm gonna put all my makeup in here because I don't have any other room for it. And I'm not using this desk for anything else. So I just got rid of a whole bunch of useless things and now I have room for makeup so I thought while I was putting it away I might as well just record it because then I can show you my makeup collection at least what I have in this house because I plan on bringing stuff from my condo here also um, but yeah at least I can show you at least I think this is probably more than half of my makeup collection um, while I'm putting it away and then I'll show you at the end what it looks like. So, um, I just have this big, a big bag here full of palettes <laughs> because I had nowhere else to put them. So I'm just going to pull them out and put them away. Uh, but I kind of need them to be like from biggest to smallest so that I can actually see them when they're in this drawer. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, well the first one I see here is probably the biggest one. So this is my e.l.f. 100 color palette. The one that comes out every year for um, Christmas. So I'm going to put this here. And yay, it fits standing up. So that is good. I don't think it fits this way. Oh, it does. Okay, it fits that way also. Then I have this uh, Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay collab. That's what it looks like. I have a video on this if you're curious, but I don't think you can get this anymore. So I'll put that away. Um, I have this palette, The Queen from Eloise. I got in a boxy charm. It looks like this looks very pretty. I haven't used it yet. This is my Be Perfect and Stacey Marie Carnival palette. It looks like this. I have a video where I used this and I really liked it, especially this shade here. Queenie, really pretty. Oh, this one will probably have to go towards the back. The ABH Norvina, the first one, volume one. It looks like this. I plan on doing like a throwback video with this because I feel like, well, I only used it once um, and I use like the black and the red for Halloween, <laughs> but I feel like because there was like so much going on when this palette came out and then she released like two other ones shortly after, no one like talked about this and everyone pretty much forgot about it. So I want to revisit that at some point. This is my Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, which I love. It looks like this. I have the Juvia's Place, the Nubian 2. This one here, also love this. This is one of my most used palettes. I actually talked about all of these palettes in my, um, the video that I did, the, um, all about my eyeshadow palettes tag or whatever it was called. So if you want more details, um, I'll link that video below. This is my Dose of Colors Baked Browns. Also really like this palette. I got it in a boxy charm. That's definitely... This might go somewhere else at some point because I think these... Well, these are the largest drawers in this desk, so I wanted to keep them for big palettes, but we'll see like how filled up things get. Here is my treasured Modern Renaissance palette from ABH. The oldest palette in my collection, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Looks still kind of new, but I assure you I've used this. I can smell it. Yeah, it still smells like chocolate. I also have a video um, just on that palette specifically. This I still haven't used, but I put it in that eyeshadow palette tag because this to me is like the perfect everyday palette. Um, 
Yeah, I need to get around to using this. This is the Maybelline Nudes of New York. Here I have the Kylie, the Burgundy palette. I always want to call it the Cranberry palette, but no, it's the Burgundy palette. Um, this might be decluttered at some point because I don't love it, but I should use it again just to remember, like to remind myself um, if I like it or not. And here's one of my favorite palettes, the ABH and Jackie Ina collab. Looks like this and I love it so much. I should use this more too. That was all, yeah, that was all the palettes that I had in this bag. So there's still a lot of room in this drawer. So let me get my other palette. Oh, yes, I'm wearing pajamas, by the way, if I didn't <laughs> And there goes a whole stack of palettes. So this is my NYX Slid Lingerie palette. It looks like this, if you didn't know. It's all mattes. Yeah, we're getting into small palettes, so I don't know what I'll do yet. Maybe I won't put those in the drawer for now. Same with this little ABH Norvina Mini Pro Pigment Volume 2. This one, I really like this orange shade. This Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. I have a whole full face of Wet n Wild video where I use this. I really like it, if I could get it open like that. This Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. I was contemplating in my Shop My Stash video if I should declutter this, but I still haven't decided, so <laughs> keeping that for now. Oh, I have these tiny e.l.f. palettes, which I'm going to put somewhere else because they're just too small. So I have the Eau de Rose palette and the Cream and Sugar palette. Oh, is this called Rose Water? Because it's only in French. Because this one says Crème et Sucre. So, <laughs> yeah, I think that's Rose Water and Cream and Sugar. I really like these. They're so nice, especially like. Not even especially for the price. Like, they're just good. They're as good as like high-end palettes you would buy at Sephora, so there you go. I have this um, Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. I need to use this more. I think I used this shade, but I don't remember really. And this is just so pretty. Now that I'm looking at this, it looks very similar to the Rare Beauty Magnetic Spirit palette. So... <laughs> Maybe I didn't need both of those because they're both all shimmers, so yeah. I have my ColourPop Sailor Moon and ColourPop collab. I still have it in the box because I keep everything from this collection in the box. Looks like this. So cute. Uh, by the way, if you guys follow ColourPop, did you see the Animal Crossing collection because that's going to have to be owned by me. But that's the Sailor Moon. I have this Pure Festival 2.0. I also have the first one, but that's what this looks like. I remember liking this, but I need to get more use out of it. My Dominique Cosmetics latte palette which i really like this one here i have this um butter london teddy boy palette that i have yet to use i got it in a boxy charm but i love the color story i don't have anything else really like this it's like cool tone blues and grays and rosy tones so I really want to use this. Oh, I should have pulled this one before because it's huge. The Too Faced Best Year Ever 2018. 
looks like this. I know it's not very relevant anymore, but I really like this palette actually. And I like that there's face products in it and the um, the bronzer is actually the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which everyone loves, so I am keeping this. I think that's one of the better holiday palettes that they've done. Uh, it's very pigmented. This is the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. I have a video on this. It looks like that. I really like this palette, although I feel like you can't get a lot of variety with it like everything's gonna be very pink and purple when you use this palette but that's what some people like so yeah uh, i also have the huda beauty mercury retrograde palette and can you believe i still have not used this i got it when it was on sale for canada day sephora had a canada day sale this is what it looks like so pretty I think I'll get more use out of this like in the spring and summer because it's very like light and pastel-y okay the drawer is starting to fill up I have this Pure and Raw Beauty Christie collab the collab that broke the Pure website <laughs> I haven't used it yet but I love this I love these colors like this was such a well done theme and palette, so I have that too. Okay, there's no more room in here. So do I want to start stacking them the other way? Well, yeah, I can just use, stack them next to each other now. I have this Sugar Pill Fun Size Mini Color Palette. I love this, although, well, I love how it looks, I should say, because I still haven't used it. Um, and I bought this in Florida because you can't buy sugar pill in Canada. I guess you could buy it from their website, but I don't like buying from websites that are only like in American dollars and then I get charged customs and blah, blah, blah. So. That's the only thing from Sugar Pill that I own and I just think it's so cute. I think these last two fit in there. So I have this ColourPop Semi Precious palette that my mom gave to me. She got it in a boxy charm and she doesn't wear like shimmer shades and this whole palette is shimmer so she gave it to me. I think this is the palette that that weird time when ColourPop decided to sell at Sephora, but then it only was on sale for like a few months and then it was pulled from the site and I don't know what that was about, but I think this was one of the palettes that was sold on Sephora if I'm remembering that correctly. I haven't used it yet. And this one is the Zoeva Caramel Melange palette that I got in a boxy charm and I haven't used yet, but I really like these colors. So I should really use this. Okay, let me see if I can show you this. Oh, I do have more palettes in my Shop My Stash box, but I'm not going to put them in here, obviously, because then that would defeat the purpose of my Shop My Stash, but I'll show you what this looks like now. I'll just have to do it by hand, I think. Yes, yeah, so this is the drawer. See, it's like very deep. I could really put a lot more in here, but when... They're laid out like this, I can actually see what I have, so it goes like to the edge here. And like I said, I have more at my condo, which I intend to bring here at some point. Um, but this is my desk, and excuse the mess, I was clearing out this whole room. So I have all those other drawers that are empty. So yeah, I'm gonna keep 
putting stuff in here and see what happens. And yeah, let's just keep going. <laughs> so it's a different day and I actually did manage to go to my condo and bring all of my makeup here. <laughs> so there is a lot. I'll show you like a, a clip of everything that I have spread out on the floor. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just continue showing you my palettes, but I honestly don't know what my plan is anymore because these drawers, they don't have like those wheels. So the more I put in them, the more difficult it is to pull them out after. So I'm getting a bit concerned <laughs> about that. So I don't really know what this, this is going to look like. So I think I'll just show you the rest of my palettes and I'll try and put them away and then show you what that looks like after. But um, these are this first like stack that I'll show you is like big palettes um, that I want to put away in drawers. So the first one here is the Ciate Chloe, Chloe Morello Pretty Fun and Fearless palette. It looks like this. I also have the Tardis Pro, this one here. I actually have another one of these that I've never touched um, and it's for sale on my Poshmark if anyone is interested. I always leave my link down below. I have the Too Faced Natural Love palette, this one here. The Juvia's um, The Masquerade. I think you can get this in a mini size now, which I kind of wish was available when I got this one, but that's what this looks like. I have this huge, iconic London, like so chunky, um, but it looks really pretty. I got this in a boxy charm, and I have the uh, BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs palette. So this is the second one. This one. I really like this actually. So I'll figure out how to put those away. Oh, and I also see how hard this is. I also put um, some of those mini palettes that I mentioned in the last clip here just for now. But I didn't, I don't. I think I showed you some of these, but I put all my ABH palettes together here because I brought them all <laughs> from my condo. Some of them were already here, but just to show you like, <sighs> just my ABH collection. This is the Prism palette. It's full of dust. Looks like this. The Subculture. I think we all know what that is about. The Carly Bible. I've only used this one one time, so I need to use it some more. Yeah, this one I already told you, the Jackie Ina collab, one of my favorite. The Modern Renaissance, this one. The Sultry palette, this one here, and the Amrezy, which I haven't used yet, and it's still in the box. This one. It looks so pretty. I really need to use it. So that's my ABH. Well, the, you know, that format. I have this Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. It smells like berries. That's what it looks like. And I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This one here. So I wanted to put that with the Chocolate Bar palette because they're the same brand and the same packaging. I have this Ace Bote Scarlet Dusk palette. I haven't used this yet, but I love these colors. 
I have the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palette. I think this is such a unique color story. I really like it. The Violet Boss Coral Crush palette. This is another one that was still in the box, so I never use this. But look at those colors. So pretty. I have the Pure Midnight Masquerade. This is actually a face and eye shadow palette. Looks like this. As you can see, I've never used it. I have the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal. This is um, very unique to my collection. It's like the most neon of any eyeshadows that I have, but I haven't used this yet. I think I've only swatched it. And the funny thing is like this came to BoxyCharm like the exact same week that we all decided, well, I shouldn't say we, like some people in the makeup community <laughs> decided Laura Lee was canceled. So it was like a big like, scandal that then this came in the boxy charm but obviously like they didn't plan that so yeah anyway this is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes this one here um this is the Pure Festival the first one so I think I already showed you the 2.0 so the first one had these like pressed glitters and if you put these on your eye uh be very careful <laughs> because they will like go everywhere but also not come off so i don't know if i'll ever use those again but i remember i did like the look that i came out with so yeah that's the first festival palette see that's kind of why i want to keep the palettes by brand because some of them are like you know volume two and things like that it just makes more sense in my mind um this is the Pure Soiree Diaries. I remember I was so excited to get this in the BoxyCharm because everyone was like raving about it. But it's like so basic, but apparently it's really good. I haven't used it, I don't think. I just dug my nail into that shade apparently. And I also have a BoxyCharm and Pure like collab that looks like this, which kind of looks like all the other Pure <laughs> pure um, palettes, but yeah, also haven't used this one. Uh, this is another BoxyCharm, obviously, item. This is like their own brand. It looks like this. I've never used it. I think I saw some really bad reviews, but I'd like to try it for myself anyway. So yeah, there's that one. Why am I out of breath? Um, I have this which I will never get rid of because it's like a work of art. It's the Urban Decay and Jean-Michel Jean Basquiat. Basquiat, I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, yeah, it's like a painting and it even feels like a painting. Like it has that like canvas kind of feeling and it opens like this. So I'll have to show you it sideways. It's like a really nice, like, grungy eyeshadow palette. I have this um, Violet Boss Essentials. This one here. This is like a very fall palette to me, and I was actually comparing it to the BoxyCharm one that I just showed you because I was like, do those look exactly the same, or is it just me? So trying to open them like look at, look at this <laughs> I don't need both of these obviously and I already know this one is probably better but still I just want to try this and see if it's really bad or not because I feel like sometimes people just complain because they don't like to get BoxyCharm's own brand in their BoxyCharm like they want real like labels that you can buy like at Sephora and stuff, but I don't really care about that. So yeah, this is the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I love this palette. I have a video on this palette too, if you want to look it up. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder palette. This was a BoxyCharm exclusive. It's like a smaller size of her uh, I don't remember what it was called. 
something thunder. Um, but yeah, I really like these colors. I don't remember if I used this. I think I did, but I honestly can't remember. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe Volume 1. This one here is such a pretty like summer palette that I need to use. And I have the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Um, this one I, I haven't had really good luck with, but it's I think it's mainly because this sh purple shade is not good at all. But everyone on YouTube like raves about this palette and says it's the best Urban Decay palette, so I need to try more colors and see how I feel. Because I really like the packaging. I wish they did more palettes like in this format, but yeah. So these are, well, I'll start with the medium sized ones. So this is the Makeup Forever Lustrous Shadow Palette. This was a holiday palette, I'm pretty sure. It looks like this. I need to use this some more. This was gifted to me from my cousin and it still has like the confetti that was on the the tissue paper. I find that's funny. It's like not coming off. So, cause this is like that squishy, like sticky kind of material, but yeah. Um, these are like my nine shade palettes. So this first one is the Clara Cosmetics number one. This is like my ultimate fall palette. Look, that's just like so Halloween to me. I really like this palette. And I found this at Winners, which is TG Ma TJ Maxx, if you're in the US. Um, I haven't seen this brand anywhere else. It's from Australia, but it's really good, so. I don't know why they're only at like Winners and TJ Maxx and stuff because last time I checked they're still a company like they have a website so I don't know um this is the Winky Lux Kitten Palette which the packaging is amazing um these are the colors this is like an interesting color story um I need to use it some more because I don't really know how I feel about it, but I just love the kitties. <laughs> this is a Studio Makeup On The Go eyeshadow palette. I think this came in like my first ever BoxyCharm. It looks like this and it's apparently really good, but I haven't used it enough to know. I'm sorry I don't have like reviews really on these palettes. I just have so many that I don't know. I don't know any of them like super well, so yeah, but when I have a video, I'll tell you so if you want to know more. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows 3. This is, <laughs> this palette has literally been on like the Sephora sale section for like three years. I don't know if they just have like way too much stock of this or something, but I almost bought it. But then my cousin gifted it to me anyway, so I'm really glad to have this. I love these colors, but this is like uniquely springtime for me. Like there's even like flowers on it and yeah, I just feel like it's super spring. And this is my Tartlet in Bloom. This is another palette that I just took out of the box. <laughs> oh dear. This one I really only bought because of YouTube because this was like in everyone's like favorite basic palettes or favorite Tarte palette. They would always mention this one, so I was just curious about it. But as you can see, it's like pretty, you know, basic, very Tarte um, shades. Tarte used to be like one of my favorite brands, but I feel like they're very, they're kind of going towards like a younger audience now, so I haven't really been excited about anything. This palette I used in a video and I actually really liked it. And these are only like 14 bucks Canadian at Sephora. They're the Eye Stories palettes. This one is the Fresh Florals and I love the 
packaging. I still want to get the coffee one, but do I need it? No. But I got this one mainly because of that yellow. I just like the yellow and the like mauve tones together. So yeah, I really like this. But this is another like spring palette. I have the Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms. This is one of my favorite palettes. It's like so small and I guess kind of basic, but I really like this formula. And these like little tin ones, I think some of them are like hit or miss. Like the new ones, I haven't really seen good reviews, but this is one of my favorites and I often take this, well, when we used to be able to travel, I would bring this with me because the packaging is sturdy and it just reminds me of like vacation. I actually got this in Florida, so that's another reason. This is my MAC Semi Sweet. Yeah, Semi Sweet times nine. Um, this is like, I don't even know how I feel about this actually. I think I used it. I just remember seeing it in the store and I really liked this like mustardy shade, but now that shade is so common, so I don't know, I'll have to revisit this and see if I want to keep it. This is the Butter London Natural Goddess collection. It only has the name inside, so. It's all shimmers, I'm pretty sure. No, maybe this is a matte shade. I've never used this. So yeah, I don't really know much more about it. I have this Naked Cosmetics. There's no name. It's just like a trio, but this is another like seasonal palette. So like I mainly only use this in the fall, but I really like these shades and the formula is really good. This is another BoxyCharm exclusive. It's by Blink. It's the Electric Eyes palette. This is one of the first eyeshadow palettes I got from them and I really like this one too, but it's all shimmers, so not really like, either you'd use this palette with another palette or you'd use it like just as like one shadow looks, at least for me, so yeah. But I remember really liking the formula. Um, then I have this little MAC Duo, which I'm really annoyed that I can't depot. It's not magnetic, so I just have two MAC eyeshadows. Um, I don't even know if you can get these. It's the, can you see that? Magnificent and Just Wing It. Those are the shades, but I think this was made exclusively for like those sets. So they used to have like sets of like different themes and this was like a pink theme, so that's where this came from. And another little trio by, I think it's IBY Beauty. I really like this one too. I actually did get some good use out of it. Um, Cause it used to be in my everyday makeup drawer. And this is like a one in, like a one shadow. No, what am I trying to say? This is like a one palette thing. Like you can do a full look with these three shades. At least I can on my skin tone because there's a matte like mid-tone brown and then like a metallic and like a nice shimmer for the inner corner or highlight so yeah really like this one and it's very functional i have two more tarte palettes so this one is the rainforest of the sea volume two so this is like a more smokier one and i have the tarte make believe in yourself yes that's what it's called. This says eye and cheek palette. But I mean, this is a, this could be a highlighter, but I wouldn't put it on my cheeks. But yeah, it looks like this, it's really pretty. This is another palette I got from BoxyCharm. It's actually like an exact dupe of the Urban Decay uh, Naked 3. Is it the, th I think it's the 3. I don't know, I don't have any of those like original naked palettes. Um, so this is called, this is from Pure Cosmetics, not to be confused with P-U-R, <laughs> Pure. Um, it's called Buff Collection, as you can see. And that's what it looks like. It even has the same 
packaging and like the same brush as the Naked palettes. So I remember I actually really like this too. I have the, well, it's, I'm just going to say Kat Von D because that's what it says here. This is like really old and I've used it like once. I was actually considering decluttering this because I don't know, it's just so boring. Like when I wear eyeshadow, I always put like a shimmer or some kind of like sparkly thing. And this is just matte. Matte like browns and blacks and grays. But at the same time, I don't know. I feel like this could be good for days where like you just want a, a bit of definition like but you don't want a whole eye look. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's the shade and light eye palette, if I didn't say. This is another BoxyCharm palette. It's by Crown Pro. I didn't even know they made um, eyeshadows. I thought it was like a brush company. But that's what this looks like. These are huge pens. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I've used this one time, so. <laughs> I don't have much more to say. Oh, this is the first Pretty Fun and Fearless. I don't know if I said that before. That was the volume two before. This is the first one, which looks like that. I really like this palette. This is the Juvia's The Nubian. This is like Juvia's most basic palette. So if you wanted to try Juvia's, but you don't wear colorful eyeshadow, you could get this one because it's just browns. <laughs> yeah, but I really like this too. And then I have this MAC In The Flesh palette. So it's one of their like pre-made palettes. This is not very unique to my collection and I'm not even sure how I feel about it. I'll have to revisit this one. But I did get some good use out of it because it used to be, like before I even had a YouTube channel, I had my own like palette rotation going on and that was one. So I used that palette for like a month. But I, now that I have so much eyeshadow, I don't know how it compares. I also have this, the Tarte High Tides and Good Vibes palette. So cute. I really like this. I use this on my channel. Looks like that. And these palettes I have put aside. So the first one is this Makeup Forever Artistic Palette. I guess it was like a holiday edition, but I'm going to depot it. These are the shades. I'm going to depot it and put it in my uh, Z palette because I checked and I can actually remove these. And this is just way too big to store with my other eyeshadows because it takes up like four palettes. But yeah, I'll depot that and put it in my collection. And then these two, I'll probably just store like as decoration on my desk or something. This is the Fairy Tales, no, Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales, I guess. Uh, Little Briar Rose. So it looks like a book, if you can't tell. So I'm not going to store that one in drawers. And these are the shades. And I've never used it. <laughs> And then this monstrosity, the tart. Actually, there's no name on this. I was checking. I don't see a name anywhere. But it was like a holiday release. Probably in like 2018. Because I remember like this is one of the first things I bought when I got into makeup. It looks like this. And it has like a full face thing here. And in here was like mascara, an eyeliner, and a lip gloss, I think. So yeah, there's that.
And that's it for palettes, at least. Well, that's not even including what's in my shop, my stash right now. So if you want to see that, you can watch the video. But now I'm going to try and organize this somehow. Okay, so this is what I did for now. Um, basically in this drawer is like overflow or like smaller palettes, but it doesn't like, it doesn't look good obviously, but that's just how it goes for <laughs> right now. And in the back here I have my Tarte uh, round palettes because they just roll around when I open the drawer, so we'll see if I keep them there. Um, and then here kind of looks the same, so this is like my bigger palettes. Um, I did take a few things out, which I'll show you. And then over here, I think I'll, I'll have to take this camera <laughs> with me. So here, this is where I put everything else. And then, oh, I am decluttering one palette. This Real Her Be Your Own Kind of Beauty. I haven't used it, so I don't even know if it's good or not. It's only because it looks exactly like the Ciate Chloe Morello, the first one and the studio makeup on the go same color story so i don't need three palettes i'll probably declutter one of those other ones at some point too but this can go to a friend i don't know why it looks so beat up because i'm pretty sure i've never used this i guess i swatched it but and it's like that soft touch like matte packaging so yeah but it still has the sticker and everything so that's the only one I'm decluttering for now and then yeah this room is still a horrendous mess as you can see but over here I also have a printer in this room for like my other business stuff so that's gonna have to find a different place but that's for another day but what I did is um, I have all my ABH palettes together in this um, like palette stand that I got from Amazon and there was two more slots in it so I took out my Sailor Moon palette just because I love the packaging and I just like to look at it and my Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity because it's too wide to fit in those drawers actually and it's just like I should probably just keep it out anyway considering it's like very expensive and <laughs> it's Pat McGrath so yeah that's gonna go somewhere and then yeah I still have where did I put oh yeah down here <laughs> I also have this thing which I actually bought from a store that was going out of business they were selling like all their um display things so I got that and so far it just has my chart thing and my little briar rose book well I also have this I could put in here but it's very wide so I don't know this is um one of my other special collector's items. It's a MAC lip set. <sighs> this I have to. And I also have this Smashbox Be Legendary. Doesn't say anything anywhere, but it's this. So if you watch my other videos, I mentioned I have this. This is where that lip, this, whatever. I don't remember what these are called, but I'll probably talk about them later in the lip portion. But just, um, yeah, I could probably put these on here too. Just depends where I put it after, but yeah. And then I have to clean this whole room. <laughs> so I think I'll leave this part of the video here because this is turning out to be like an actual 
job. <laughs> and I've only talked about palettes so far, so I think this will be one video. And then I'll have another video for like each category, depending how long they are. So I will catch you in the next one. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.